How's it going lads and ladies? My name is Josh and today we have another gaming report. This one is going to be on something a little bit different than last time. We have news last week, there was news last week, that Game Freak had initially meant to release Mega Flygon in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now obviously to a lot of people this is going to be a some big news, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard about it anyway. But for a lot of people, this will be big news because Mega Flygon was one of the most wanted Megas. Uh, the guys shave. This is what they do to try to get every hair. Look at them. Oblivious. No idea. Anyway. Might be a good idea for me to get add block at some point, but um, with Mega Flygon, I think a lot of people wanted it to happen. As I was saying before, a lot of people did want Mega Flygon to happen in the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I personally did really like Flygon. I wasn't like religious. It's not something of religious. Like a lot of people make it out to be. Like Flygon is just this all godly Pokemon that everybody loves, and it's just amazing. But there is a couple. There are a couple of um, different. This thing's going to be annoying. I can tell it's going to be annoying. There we go. Um, there were a couple of. There were a couple of stories. Now we can look at this one already. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Mega Flygon was in plans, but Game Freak had artist block. I don't know if I believe that story in all reality. Artist block. The inability to design a Mega Flygon. Now, let's, you know, let's carry on reading before I say anything. In Generation 6 games of Pokemon, Mega Evolution was a crucial new dynamic to, long, to the long running franchise. It takes some fan favourite Pokemon and gives them a temporary evolution gives them, that gives the Mons a new look and new abilities. However, Flygon was simply left out of Pokemon X and Y and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire to the chagrin of the fans. Um, not quite sure how to pronounce that, but... With plenty of other dragon types and Hoenn region staples receiving a mega evolution, the ground dragon type bug thing was looked over despite the fan outcry. Obviously, like I said, there was a fan outcry about Mega Flygon because Mega Flygon was obviously a lot of it was it was a fan favorite. Everybody loves like um, Flygon, and but don't fear Flygon fans. In a recent interview with the Japanese magazine Nintendo Dream, Game Freak's Ken Sigamori talks talks about the Gen 6 games and Flygon came into conversation. Here's the meat of the interview translated by Poke Beach. Now hang on. Let me just zoom in a little bit. If this thing allows me to zoom in. Or not. There we go. But anyway. Um, for Arun. So Arun's the guy um, who teaches you how to use secret powers, secret bases and all that kind of thing. So, I'm guessing, yeah, that was his, that is his, his sort of signature Pokemon. He needed to have a Pokemon that could use the moves Fly and Secret Power, which are perfect moves for finding secret bases, and the only home Pokemon that wasn't used by a key character that fit that criteria was Flygon. It does not Mega Evolve, but I really like Flygon. Interviewer, key characters often carry a Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, but Flygon is an exception, right? Flygon has the potential to have a mega evolution since X and Y, but we were unable to complete a design so it was dropped from consideration. And that's the magazine scan of the interview. Um, honestly, I'm not particularly... I don't buy it that much, if I'm honest, because if, I mean, if you go on to, say, let's just go on to Google for a second and type in Mega Flygon. Like, we go to images, and you could just see image. There's just there's so many different concepts for Omega Flygon. How the hell can Game Freak not come up with something? I mean, some of these obviously aren't great. I mean, obviously you have the Mega Flygon that's in um, that is in Pokemon Insurgents, and I honestly thought that was a nice um. A nice one as well, and it was a dragon bug. There's so many different things you could have done with 
the, with Mega Flygon because I mean it looks like a bug. It could turn into a Dragon Bug type. The only the only one of its type would be nice. And Flygon, in terms of competitively, isn't that great either. I mean, but if you look at let's look at like, let's look at Flygon stats. We're gonna go for a little bit of a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Let's go. Um, so Flygon stats are. Base 100 in attack, 80 defense, 80 special attack, 80 special defense, and 100 speed. So, it's just below par and just not really that great. I mean, it would be really nice to see the attacks that go up, the special attacks that become more useful and usable because... And obviously the speed needs to go up as well because Pokemon with base 100 speed, they're good Scarfers, but I mean, if you were to use a Scarf on Flygon, its attack wouldn't benefit in the slightest, and it just wouldn't hit as hard. So, and just look at the move pool. All you have to do is look at the move pool. You've got Rock Slide, Earth Power, Dragon Tail, Earthquake, Dragon Breath doesn't really need to be used. Dragon Claw. You get stuff like... What else we got? Um, it can learn Roost. Earthquake, obviously, like I said already. Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Rock Tomb. Um, you get U-Turn, Dragon Tail, like I said already. Um, what else would you get? Bug Bite. If it turned into a Bug type, Bug Bite U-Turn. I mean, you never know. You could use that kind of stuff. And wait, does it get Swords Dance as well? It gets Home Claws. Home Claws. <laughs> I just think there would be so much they could do with it. Everything. And I do believe it gets... Uh... Hang on, it does get Boom Burst. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Trap Hinge gets Boom Burst, or Vibrava gets Boom Burst. But even then... Oh, wait, 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 no, it learns it, doesn't it? Yeah. Tra uh, Vibrava gets Boom Burst. Special attack like if you just added a little bit of in special attack. I Mean I wouldn't be a fan of giving it adaptability or anything because that adaptability is just that go-to ability that everything fucking uses but I mean something that's the, a lot of bug types have compound eyes would be I suppose usable um, Just to power up the Boom burst. No, no, not power up make boom burst. Boom burst have 100 accurate 100 percent accuracy anyway What doesn't have 100 percent accuracy? What doesn't have 100% accuracy that you could use? Um, fire Blast. You'd have Fire Blast. You'd have, I mean, if, if you want to be that guy and run Hyper Beam. Um, Steel Wing, if you want to use Steel Wing. Stone Edge. Perfect example. Or No Guard. Give it something. But I really think there's a lot of potential for Flygon, and it's just never really lived up to its potential. And if it were to be given a Mega then it would just it would just be so much better as a Pokemon. It's one of those Pokemon that you can see a load of potential in and it, if it gets given a um, Mega, it would just be so much better. So much better. I mean, what other Pokemon do we have like that? Fucking Charizard. Who used Charizard before it got Mega Evolutions? I mean, if you just look at... If you look at, like, say... Let's... What are we going to do here? Let's look at Mega Pokemon in general. Mega Pokemon, Mega Evolution in general. Let's go down to the Mega Evolutions. Venusaur was usable anyway. Charizard. Nobody fucking used Charizard before it got Mega Evolutions. It's now an OU. Blastoise. People used it, but it wasn't that great. It was probably meh. I think it was still in UU at this point. It gets Mega Launcher and Blastoise Knight. Mega, it gets sort of usable. Alakazam is probably more usable than its Mega. Only because Alakazam was pretty good anyway. Gengar, it's fucking Megas made it go Ubers. What the hell? Like, and then Kangaskhan is probably one of the better, one of the better examples. Kangaskhan was, I, I think it still is in NU, but Mega Kangaskhan is banned. I think it's banned, isn't it? It's banned in Smogon. In VGC, it's not, but. Mega Kangaskhan's one of the best Pokemon in VGC, like, it's giving 
just average Pokemon that just extra little boost to, to, get, to make them usable. I mean, Pinsir. Pinsir's an NU. It's just gone down to NU, I think. Um, Gyarados was usable anyway. Aerodactyl. It's probably in the same place as it is now. We're not going to talk about Mewtwo. Ampharos. Nobody fucking uses Ampharos. I think it's UU at the moment, isn't it? For, um, with its Mega. Um, Tizzor. Usable anyway. Heracross. Usable anyway. Houndoom. It didn't really give it much, but it was enough to make it more usable. Tyranitar. Probably Tyranitar and Mega Tyranitar are similar in usage at the moment. Blaziken. Bant Ubers. I mean, it was Bant is it's, it's, it's normal form is Bant Ubers anyway, but Marwile. Nobody fucking used Marwile. Marwile was a horrible Pokemon. And suddenly it gets huge power and a mega evolution and it is one of the best Pokemon in the game. Broken as fuck. Um, Agron wasn't particularly useful, gets to UU. Medicham wasn't particularly useful, was in BL for a uh, period of time. Manectric, shit. It's an OU with this mega. Burnett, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think Burnett was particularly useful anyway. And it's mega's not particularly useful. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice mega, it has a huge attack stat. And um, it can be used quite well by more experienced players, but you know. Um, Absol, it's Mega gave it justice. Garchomp, not particularly. Lucario, at the moment in UU, it's Mega is banned to Ubers. Bomb Snow, I think has just been moved up to UU with his Mega. And then you get the obvious ones. Beedrill and Pidgeot, nobody used Beedrill and Pidgeot. And I just think you can just scroll through this whole thing and just see Steelix, Sceptile. Um, <coughs> not Sableye. Camerupt. Altaria. Um, Metagross. Basically. Kind of. Um, Lopunny. <laughs> um, Ordino. Gallade. All of these Pokemon were below par before their Mega Evolutions. And I just think if you give a Mega Evolution to something like Flygon, it will really, really push it to become one of the best in the game. I think if they were to make Mega Flygon, it would all depend on um, what kind of stats you'd give it, what typing you'd give it, because people have been saying to go for drug, dra dra drug, Dragon and Bug, which would be nice. I think it would be a very cool typing. I mean, there's no Dragon Bugs at the moment anyway. Um, but all in all, I think I'd like to see a Mega Flygon, and I think the, the excuse that they can't really design one. I mean, look, this is the one from Pokemon Insurgents. Is it really that difficult to design? I mean, I'm only going based off. I mean, I guess they'd have to animate it. All that kind of thing. I don't know. I really don't know, but all in all. So, it's an interesting take on what Pokemon gets at Mega Evolution, as design seems to be just as important as fan favoritism in elevating non-competitive Pokemon, but how hard is it to come up with a good design for Mega Flygon? Um, Reddit user TPEG makes this snarky yet sadly accurate observation. How could they ever get another decent design when all is shadowed by the brilliant masterful design of Mega Kangaskhan? That is true. Mega Kangaskhan wasn't particularly the most... Um, masterful of designs. Quick Google image search for Mega Flycon gets plenty of choices of design and they are pretty good. Perhaps Game Freak should take a look and gain some inspiration. I just said all of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh look, here's a few of our favourite Mega Flygon designs. Let's have a look. That looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty cool. I wouldn't mind seeing that one. What else we got? If my computer wants to load. That's pretty fucking cool as well. That's that's even better. Why not? And then obviously we have the Pokemon Insurgents one. Um, no, we can't go for that. But all in all, I don't think it's a ridiculously difficult thing to do. I mean, maybe there are some things behind the un behind the scenes that I don't really understand, but <coughs> obviously, if they couldn't do it, they couldn't do it. 
That's fair enough. I'm not going to fanboy about this, about, oh, Mega Flygon should have been in the game. Do you know what? It is what it is. If it wasn't in the game, it wasn't in the game. But I'm a bit skeptical about the reasoning. That's it. Um, yeah, other than that, if we do see Mega Flygon in Generation 7 or Pokemon Z, whichever one, um, I think it would become useful. I mean, it all depends on what they do with stats. Like I said, stats, abilities, and typing. I think it could be easily OU, maybe even banned, like Mega Salamence or Mega Metagross. We don't know. But other than that, I'm going to be up out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.